Hi everybody, welcome back to Icelandic for Foreigners. In this video, I'm going to be giving a little bit of a linguistics lesson and talking specifically about accent and what it means to have an accent and how you can improve your accent. Now, I know a lot of people that watch my videos have a lot of language learning experience and some of you even have linguistics training. So this video might not be very helpful for you or might not contain a lot of new information. But I also know that a lot of people who watch my videos are first-time language learners. Icelandic is the first foreign language that they've really tried to learn. And I've noticed throughout uh, my experience with language learners is that there are a lot of misunderstandings about what it means to have an accent. So first of all, I've noticed that there are two ways that people talk about an accent in relation to the language that they're learning. The first is they may say, well, I speak Icelandic with an American accent or with a French accent. So in this case, the accent is influenced from their native language. Second, people may say, I just don't have the Icelandic accent. Now, in this case, the accent is some characteristic of native Icelandic speakers that makes them sound native. In both cases, we're actually referring to the same thing, though we are conceptualizing it a little bit differently. In both cases, what we're really saying is, I don't speak Icelandic with correct pronunciation. And I know that some linguists wouldn't like the term correct pronunciation, but I think that's the simplest way to talk about it in this video. Now, in the first example, I speak Icelandic with an American accent. We are recognizing that we don't speak Icelandic with correct pronunciation, primarily due to the influence of our native language. Now, this is probably the most accurate way to understand what an accent is. The second example, I just don't have the Icelandic accent, is not as accurate. There is no Icelandic accent. There is only correct, native-like Icelandic. If you don't sound like a native when you pronounce words, it's because you don't have correct pronunciation. It's not because you're missing an accent. Now you're probably wondering, why does it matter what we call it? And maybe it doesn't. But I've noticed a lot of people view native Icelandic pronunciation, or the Icelandic accent, as something they either do or don't have. And this can sometimes prevent us from feeling like we can improve it. Now, as I mentioned, the more accurate way to talk about accents is to say, I speak Icelandic, or whatever language you're learning, with an American accent, or with a Polish accent, or with a British accent. And let me be clear, basically every language learner speaks their target language with an accent, which remember is really just code for incorrect pronunciation. Learning correct pronunciation of a new language is extremely difficult, and very few people can ever learn a foreign language so well that their speech is indistinguishable from a native speaker's. For example, I've been learning Icelandic for over 10 years, and Icelanders can tell that I'm not a native speaker within minutes, if not seconds. So don't feel bad that you speak your target language with an accent. Of course you do. You probably always will. But don't say, well, I'll just always have a bad accent. Remember, an accent is just incorrect pronunciation, and incorrect pronunciation can be improved. So let's talk about that for a bit. Pronunciation really is more of a science than an art. It's just sound waves moving through the air, and you create those sound waves by moving your lips, your teeth, tongue, and muscles in your throat. And unless you have a speech impediment, there's nothing really stopping you from producing Icelandic sounds. The biggest obstacle will be teaching yourself to distinguish sounds you've never heard before. Oftentimes, when we hear a new sound in a new language, our brain automatically associates it with a sound in our native language and convinces us that it's the exact same sound. Then we feel like we have nothing left to learn and we say, I know how to pronounce that sound. Then we become sad because we speak with an accent and we don't really know why. For people learning Icelandic, this happens a lot with Icelandic vowels and, for example, voiceless consonants. It's going to take a lot of practice and really put you out of your comfort zone. As I mentioned, most people never learn perfect pronunciation, but that's okay. As you get better, people will understand you better and will focus more on what you say instead of how you say it. I created a whole series of videos to help Icelandic learners develop better pronunciation. And they're very scientific. They're about learning rules. They're called phonological rules. In addition, you should listen to a lot of native speakers and try to imitate them, especially to learn their rhythm and their tone. This is the more artistic part of pronunciation. Speaking with correct pronunciation is a long process, just like learning grammar or comprehension. I guess my main point is don't just give up and say, 
I don't have a good accent. Like any other skill, it will take practice. Now before I wrap up this video, I'd like to clarify something important. In this video, I've talked about having correct pronunciation. In most languages, there are many dialects and subgroups of the language, none of which are more correct than the other. For example, British English isn't more correct than American English, and there are a lot of different other varieties of English. A person learning English could learn any one of those dialects and speak with correct pronunciation. Correct pronunciation just depends on how native speakers talk in the dialect you're learning. Now, in Icelandic, this isn't a very big problem because there isn't very much dialectical variation in Icelandic. Most native Icelanders speak Icelandic the same way, with a couple small regional variations. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there so we don't get too political in the comments. There are a lot of ways to speak with correct pronunciation. It just depends on what dialect of the language you're learning. Anyway, I know that this video didn't really get into Icelandic grammar or anything like that. It's more just an overview on a linguistic concept, but I hope it was helpful. Let me know what your thoughts and questions are in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching. Bless, bless.